Hi everybody, today we're here in North Carolina. North Carolina, and we're heading to Maggie Valley for a Jeep Fest. Dawn, are you ready? I am ready. Whole line of Jeeps. Oh wow. They must be on an adventure. I wonder where they're going. I don't know. They're going somewhere. Well, I haven't got their tops down. Nope. Every time we take all the other's top off, it down for rains. <laughs> it does. The little yellow Jeep is in her element. She's with her friends, her cousins. <laughs> Her brothers and sisters. She's stock. She's not crazy like this really cool looking orange one. Yeah. But she's a Jeep and she likes being stock, right? Yeah. But uh, yes, let's go ahead. Let's explore the Jeep um, madness that's going on here. And the Jeeps are here and there's a lot of them. Of course, they're all ducked out. We are here in Maggie Valley. It is a beautiful day nice and sunny we're gonna explore Jeep Fest and then we're gonna do some exploring in the area take in a little bit of Maggie Valley and in, in North Carolina yeah so there are Jeeps everywhere and there's a bunch of Jeeps here at the the festival grounds here and both sides of the road there's plenty of parking a little bit windy which makes it comfortable and even Maggie herself is waving to all the Jeeps. Of course, if you have a Jeep, you know waving is a thing. And the town of Maggie Valley Festival Grounds, it's June the 8th, it's 80 degrees. Watch for elk and, and bear. And that is true, you do have to watch out for elk and bear over here. The Western North Carolina Jeep Fest. Well, that's a really unique color. Simply must go. Hmm. So is that like boogie? Yeah, it is, isn't it, huh? And every color is represented. That's Pac-Man. Yeah, it's a yellow Jeep like yours. Yeah. And you, you have two doors, you have four doors, you have the gladiators, which are part pickup, part off-roading craziness. Well, there's a little bit of a wait for tickets today, but not not too bad. Eight dollars for one day, fourteen for two, and we are in. It costs sixteen dollars for both of us. Eight dollars for a single day, and uh, we're here. Wow, let's go ahead and take a look around. Let's see what they have. Got quite the collection of ducks going on. And we're surrounded by the mountains. Look at that. Yeah. It's always great watching people get out, having a good time, playing a little cornhole over here. And here's some new Jeeps that are for sale from the local Chrysler dealer, Jeep dealer. All items are $10 or less. Hats, cups, shirts, they even have these Really cool little pajama bottoms for ten dollars. Yeah, a lot of shopping to be had. Oh wow, look at the size of that duck. 
pretty crazy, huh? Yeah. And we got quite a few of these at home. People have given us over the years. A little, little yellow Jeep. And they have some hats here. Don doesn't like to wear baseball caps though. Long sleeves for $10. All these t-shirts are $10. And this one here is really, really cute there. Too bad it wasn't yellow. <laughs> There's a duck on it. Not bad, not badly priced. Ten bucks. And Jeeps are all about going off road, doing a little camping. The coolest camper out there. So this here is a, is a little camper you tow, a little pop up you tow uh, behind your behind your Jeep or pretty much anything. And here's one that's fully fully up, and that is really cool. Yeah, you got your solar going over here. Yeah, they got their Jackery over there and pretty cool. So that whole tent is in that, that little area there. That is like the smallest compact tent. And look at that one up there on the roof. You know, looking at this makes you want to do some camping in the Jeep, right, at all? You can get a Hemi conversion for a Jeep. Now, that Jeep will fly with a Hemi in there. In fact, that's probably not even cool because somebody's going to get hurt with a big old Hemi. And uh, they got a Minion one here. This is the newer style yellow, not Dawn style yellow. Dawn doesn't really like this. This is a highlighter yellow. Yeah, she likes the old Minion color one. So this is the show and shine, and each one of these Jeeps are decorated in their own their own personality. In fact, this one here uh, is pretty scary, I would say. <laughs> Even got Freddy Krueger coming out of the out of the engine compartment. Yeah, you have some sweet and salty. Two things I cannot have. Uh, look at this Rubicon. It's all uh, it's got a, a unicorn going on here. Oh my goodness, even Chucky's out here. <laughs> oh boy, yeah, look at that Chucky. Uh, this one here is a dirty bird. A dirty bird. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a gladiator. Yeah. The toughest four letter word is a Jeep. And this one here is, wow, it's an old, like an old postal Jeep, it looks like, doesn't it? An old style one, V6, isn't it? And this one here is all disney out. Captain Caveman. <laughs> very, very cool. Look at this little mural down here. Captain Caveman. That's a mean old Grinch there, huh? <laughs> <laughs> and there's one called Betty White. That's another gladiator. Uh, thank you for ducking a friend, right? Get it? Betty White? Thank you for... Yeah, yeah there you go. Pretty pretty interesting. A lot of a lot of flair going on here today. Ooh, what? What'd you see? Behind you, turtle time. Oh boy, yeah, there's a whole turtle themed one going on here. Yeah, it's a 2020. And one thing's for sure, Bigfoot loves jeeping. Yep, loves the jeep and collect ducks. Who would have known? Some of these jeeps I do remember from the Jeep invasion over in Pigeon Forge, and some I have never seen before. Life's a gamble. Got a little display out in front of this one. Little poker chip, yeah. Yeah, I absolutely love the gladiators. Yeah, so here's an old Golden Eagle J10. It's got the eagle there on the hood. And speaking of Golden Eagles, here is a two-door one. And boy, there are these decorated. In fact, the owners here look kind of probably dead after all the time and money they put putting these together, right? Won a lot of trophies. Oh, yeah. Let there be carnage. Oh, wow, yeah, it's like a... A carnage themed one venom add jeeps wherever you go old and new 
gladiator four door two door orange black purple pink green yeah it's it's got a hemi and it's a family event you got the whole family out showing off the jeep a lot of folks are having little picnics and you know, it's a whole community the jeep community and they're good folks help each other out um yeah so this here has a cummins diesel in it uh, yeah there's a little diesel up in there hemis diesels some of these folks say they can put well over a hundred thousand dollars in just upgrades from their original purchase price um you can have two hundred thousand three hundred thousand dollars in, in one it's a yellow jeep for sure pennywise <laughs> we all float down here Ooh. oh boy there there he is himself What do you think of this? Kind of scary. You like their personalities. Everyone's yeah. got it. Oh, there's a red balloon behind it on. <laughs> <laughs> so where did that come from? Uh, the, the Pennywise. He, that's what he does. It's his thing. Doesn't he go down the gutter or something? Down, he lives down in the sewers and stuff. Yeah. 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 I saw this and I said, wow, I have to check this out. It's a postal Jeep. <laughs> Still got its postal stripes and that, right? Yeah, it's got a wow, it's all ready for off road and it's got a fuel cell and it's all jacked up. I bet you they get the mail delivered with this one. And yeah, it's got two steering wheels, I guess either side, wherever the mailboxes are. Yeah. What do you think of that? Really now, look at this little photo here, it shows him jumping it. This thing jumps oh, that's funny. <laughs> in the air, doesn't it? Yeah, well, yeah it's even still got its. Postal stripe and cool. everybody's going Jeep crazy. This one's rhino covered or rhino lined. There's an old renegade. Yeah, so this one here is a called Crush, like Orange Crush. It's a gladiator. They have a lot of different food trucks. Some of these I recognize from some of the festivals we. We visit in the area, a whole line of them, barbecue. Well, that was a lot of fun. Yeah. Saw a lot of really cool looking Jeeps. They had a lot of folks selling like hats and t-shirts. They didn't have a lot of vendors selling like parts, you know, like there wasn't a lot of parts guys. You know, you couldn't buy like a, a hood or a fender or something like that, but uh, it was really cool. It was a little show, but it was just perfect. We're gonna do some exploring through Maggie Valley that seeing that we're over here and just take a look around but that was a good show yeah. a lot of fun and the yellow jeep has been docked <laughs> yeah you got a duck another duck for the collection yeah very cool yeah i think we're gonna find something to eat that pretty cool food food trucks but i think we're kind of looking for a place to you know, to try out some place where we can sit down. But it's always great to be around the Jeep family, right? Yep. Great, great folks. We decided to stop by Ghost Town Village, Ghost Town in the Sky. And this place is slowly starting to decay. It gets worse every single time we're here. Looks like there's some broken windows over there. And um, yeah, ghost town in the sky. So at the, if you're not familiar with it, there's a theme park, an old Western theme park at the top of the mountain up there, all the way up there. And the only way to get to it was from well, this little chairlift, but uh, it's in very bad shape up there. And it's starting to get bad down here. I used to get your tickets here. There's an old sage coach here. Probably once was at the top. Found its way down here. A couple of fiberglass horses. And this here was the uh, 
the tram that took you to the top. But it's it's seen better days. They tried to say this a few times, but just never, never taken off. A lot of folks called it cursed. A lot of different things. Well, not much left. Folks always ask us, will this ever reopen? And it's, it probably never will. I mean, just to go through and get everything up to inspection through the state, and it's probably, um, yeah, probably not going to happen. Maggie Valley was packed with Jeeps. There was most likely going to be a wait at any place we would have went to. So we decided to head over to Waynesville. It's not too far. They got a lot of eateries downtown, a lot to do. And it's been a while since we've been here. So let's go ahead. Let's check out Waynesville, the gateway to the Smokies. And here are just some of the wildflowers of the Smokies. And we've seen all of these before. Bee Bomb, right? The late. The lady slipper, when you do see one, it's amazing. They can be very rare, um, but we have seen them before. Yes. But it's very far and few in between when we do. And then you have the the butterfly weed. Milkweed family. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's milkweed. Milkweed. But anyways, that's pretty cool. In fact, over here it says the wildflowers of the Smokies. Waynesville is a perfect example of a smoky mountain town. Uh, it's just awesome all the way through. Eateries, antiques, little boutiques. They got a lot of things you can look at, a lot of photo opportunities. You are surrounded by the Great Smoky Mountains. It's a, it's a fun little town on the other side of, well, Tennessee anyways. The Militia Riflemen. Nice bronze statue. Of course, you can see the mountains in the background. It's a busy little town. There's a lot of, a lot of traffic and a lot of motorcycles. And this here is, I think this is their courthouse here. The Haywood County, yeah, the Haywood County Courthouse. Pretty cool. And there are Jeeps everywhere. Everybody's out having a good time cruising around the mountains today and Jeep Jeep Fest was fun we'll definitely have to go back next year if we're around got a place there called Sauced Pizza Tacos and Taps you got the brick sidewalks nice little places to sit out and eat every storefront is a little different and a very nice downtown they even have a chocolate factory Hmm. Yeah, let's go check out the yeah, chocolate volcanoes and then chocolate poops with little eyes staring at you. Oh, it is a poop. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this Jeep is called Casper. <laughs> He's a gladiator. Now, these guys are a lot of fun. I think they're, they're playing. Well, this guy here is playing a banjo. Waynesville, North Carolina. And it's called Old Time Music. Waynesville has a rich history in music. Uh, the Minted Mercantile. Bunch of really nice little stores along the way. Welcome Jeepers. Open late after dark. So we're going to try the Birchwood Hall Southern Kitchen, established in 2017, right here in downtown Waynesville. Let's go ahead and grab a bite to eat because I'm hungry. I'm starving. Uh, 
and this is where we're sitting here in this little booth yeah so we got some southern cooking going on yeah we got quite the bar So this is their lunch menu. It's just this one side. They have burger sandwiches. Uh, they have lunch mains. Here got a salmon. That looks good too. A chopped steak. Uh, low country shrimp. They, ooh, they have some mac and cheese. Collard green casserole. Dawn's going to get the cast iron chicken pot pie. I think I'm going to go with the chicken fried chicken. It's a chicken breast. Uh, marinated with mashed potatoes, uh, green beans. Um, so yeah, that's gonna get that there. We're not ginger snap gravy. Here's this coming with ginger snap gravy. So there's a lot of good eateries in downtown Waynesville, and this is our first time dining down here. They have a really cool pizza place over there as well, but I figured that this here um, would suit us a little bit better. I order a half of a house salad. It comes with, what's the name of that dressing again? And that's the green goddess. Uh, it's kind of like ranch with like cucumber or some herbs or whatever. Anyways, that's the, uh, yeah, look at that. And then that's the salad that comes with, with the chicken, pot pie. chicken pot pie. Oh wow, it looks good. It's just like a minier version of this. Yeah, tomatoes look really, really good. Cheese, croutons. Did you notice how fresh the salad was? It, it almost tastes like it was picked like this morning, right? Yeah, had a little the bit of a, were cut in half. yeah. It almost had like like an earthy. You know, it was really yeah. good. It wasn't. You could tell that it wasn't like. You know what I'm saying? Like. Even that green goddess salad dressing was good. It was very garlicky. So our meals are here. This is my chicken fried chicken, and that is a big, big helping. Got some green beans some mashed potatoes and some gravy. Of course, this being a Southern cuisine, uh, I wouldn't expect anything less. And look at what Dawn got. This is um, chicken pot pie. Chicken pot pie, now, mm -hmm. oh wow, it comes in a skillet, mm -hmm. right? I wonder what these are, potatoes? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. What is that? Oh, this piece of chicken. Yeah, go ahead and try that out, right? Oh, oh yeah. It's all beneath, and this is the crust. Yeah, yeah, so that's the crust on top, and then all the filling is down below. Yeah. I've, that's different. But look how flaky that is. Show everybody how flaky. Look at how flaky that is. Go ahead and cut it's in. It's very It's like very... I bet you it like melts in your mouth. Oh, it's going all over the place. Yeah, I can't. And like, look at the top, how like it has like a, a glaze on top, right? Look how flaky that is. It looks buttery. It's buttery. Very, very buttery. Yeah. Uh, and everything is piping hot. I can just feel the heat coming off of this. Um, wow, that looks good. It just smells amazing. Um, that chicken breast there looks really good. And I'm really interested in that, that pot pie of yours. You're gonna burn your mouth. I'm gonna try some of this. There's some peas. Oh wow, that is really good. Buttery. Um, it just the, the top the just melts in your mouth. The chicken's got a really good taste. Um, the gravy is, you know, just really good. It's all the way around. Wow. Yeah, I like it. You know. I'm actually impressed. I, I didn't think it was going to be that good, right? So yeah. far. Anyways, I haven't tried mine yet. Southern fried fried chicken. Oh, wow. Very, very good. Um, the breading is just very, very nice. Um, fluffy, um, airy. Very, very airy. Green beans got a little bit of a smoke flavor. Um, they're seasoned very, very nicely, and they're um, they're crispy, 
crispy, not soggy or nothing like that. And in the south, it's mashed potatoes and gravy. Just as the way I thought they would be. They're homemade, they're lumpy. The, ma uh, the gravy is perfect. Um, everything is homemade. Everything is made right here, everything's homemade. Look at how that, you can just cut it with. Dawn, you gotta try this chicken. I mean, is that good? So tender. It really is that good. I, I'm shocked. I, we just walked in off the street. We didn't like plan for this or nothing. We just said, hey, we're hungry. We're gonna pull off here. Um, and this is what we got. Good Southern cooking. That ginger gravy is amazing. Wow. Oh my goodness, folks. That is probably some of the best eaten I have had. That is some good food. Yes, here in the South, I mean. Uh, it was good southern cooking. It wasn't oversaturated with like, you know, and it was just perfect. It was really good. And it wasn't priced that bad. Now, I think you can get kind of fancy in there, to be honest with you. Like, I think their, their dinner menu could be a lot more, you know what I mean? Because it looks like they were getting fancier. Like, they were, they're were getting ready for dinner, and it looks like they were getting fancier. So, but that'd be a great place to come if you want to celebrate something special. Haywood County Quilt Trails. This is called the Station on Main. It's a neon sign and more, and I love neon. Let's go in and check this out. Yeah, all kinds of neon. Yeah, I didn't know I was gonna run into you today, Mr. Spock. <laughs> Uh, dry, live fast, drive faster. Yeah, cool little um, neon store in there. A lot of fun. And you know you're in a tourist area when there's a Killins. I love this little water fountain on the side of the road, and I've seen this in this area before. Uh, don't work. Oh, it smells like a Killins. <laughs> Yeah, this little Michigan company has made it pretty much everywhere these days. And they have the Michigan favorite, Superman. I grew up on Superman. So Dawn couldn't go into Kilwins without getting some ice cream. It's pecan, pecan praline. Yes. And this town is perfect. It's got a little, a little movie theater. Gateway to the Smokies. It was called The Strand. Main Street Diner, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Established in 1809. It's got a really nice storefront, but man, we just ate. Oh my goodness. And that was good, wasn't it? And gateway to the Smokies. And one of my favorite shops here is Mass General Store. Mercantile and candy. I got some really nice Waynesville teas. Flipping awesome. <laughs> people play with a hot dog and a corn and Yeah, that's pretty cool. And I love these creaky wooden floors. Oh boy, yeah, the candy. Five ninety nine a pound. Oh, there's a Mary Jane's, Dawn, it's your favorite. Uh-uh. <laughs> no, thanks. Bit of honey. All kinds of gummies and... And they have a little bit of Stuckies in here. And Stuckies is making, making a comeback lately. You'll start seeing it more and more stores. And um, it's a real family operation out of, out of Georgia. Still made in Georgia. Oh, oh yeah. Cigars. Yep. I wonder if they have fruit stripe striped gum. Probably not. I stopped oh, making it. Only you can prevent forest fires. Mr. Rat's Joyride. <laughs> He's riding in a pizza, Don. And with Jeep Fest being in town, you got to have your your Jeeps front and center. Oh, we could do this. Have a little bit of. How about some racing? How about some racing roaches? 
you can race them. There's a whole whole box fill full of them. Whoa, 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 look at that. Betty White? Everything I need to know, I learned from Disney. Okie dokie. Hi, I'm Bob Ross. Hey, look at the trees and squirrels. <laughs> So Knoxville is 61.7 miles. I think it's a little bit longer because that's like maybe the way the crow flies. Because really, I think we're 61 miles to Sevierville. We haven't even got halfway there yet. So that was our little trip to North Carolina. It's always amazing. Um, Jeep Fest was cool. Got to see mm -hmm. a lot of cool Jeeps. Maggie Valley's looking good. Um, we went over to Waynesville. Oh my goodness, folks. That, that lunch... Was good. Oh, oh my god. I mean, it's that good. So, if you guys are here, I do recommend that. Good southern cooking. We got about an hour's drive back home to Sevierville. But, folks, that's going to do it for today. Here in North Carolina, here in Waynesville, if you guys like this vlog, give it a thumbs up. Also, if you haven't, please subscribe so you don't miss these upcoming Smoky Mountain Adventures. And until next time, thanks for watching. Bye, Bye everyone. everyone.